we're here at the airport. <laughs> people and thank you for transferring the money to us so we're riding the ferry now after almost five hours oh my goodness just arrived here hi what a day so this is our room we're supposed to have shared room and bathroom but the manager was nice enough heard our story and gave us our own room so we just want to share what happened today because i think um, a lot of lessons are learned today um, so at the jetty port there's a lot of new things that, that's happening there so you have to check with a guard your hotel reservation and then go to the tourist validation something's part wherein they will check your um, printed hotel booking and then you have to write your name and what well, was the reason for you going to Boracay and stuff so sa part na yun sobrang daming tao ang haba ng pila siksikan I felt someone who has a shawl, uh, parang maliit lang siya na babae, na sinisiksik ako. And I didn't mind it because I was with Kyle. So, sabi ko, I just wanna go with it because it was a long travel time. And then, after nun, you go to the other line para magbuy ng terminal fee, environmental fee, and the uh, ferry. So, when I was about, malapit na kami sa, sa line, and I was about to get my wallet, I checked. It's not there anymore. My bag is not zip zipper. It's a zipper. So, there is some button that can be closed. Pero I always use that bag in traveling. This is the first time that this happened to me. So then I reported it to the police and the guards. Um, apparently, there are some incidents like that in Boracay too. And the sad part is, the other foreigners. Um, before us, there were Koreans who had their cell phone. 
and also wallet and yung ticket niya pa um, so one tip if you'll bring a bag make sure na may zipper um, or maybe fanny pack na lang sa harap na lang um, moving on uh, we went to the CCTV area chinik namin, nakita namin yung girl kasi nasabi ko na lumalapit sa akin and sinasabayan niya pala ako hindi ko naman siya napapunsin pero dun sa part na sinisiksik niya na ako hindi na siya covered ng CCTV so wala rin naman mangyayari um, sadly, in my wallet there's my all our monies passport our passports um, and health cards and ATM um, sad part is my passport has visas there so yun yung pinaka struggle talaga um, and then um, we had to go to the police station and ask for a police report um, one police guy um, sinakay kami ng tricycle kasi literally I don't have anything I have only 20 pesos in my pocket kasi lahat nasa wallet um, sinakay kami ng tricycle so hintay kami hintay niya kami doon hanggang matapos kami mag blotter um, I had to file for a police report so I can get all my IDs and passports and then hinihintay niya kami matapos and then the police car yung van nila there were three policemen na hinatid kami sa Cebuana um, where Kaiser sent us money thank you so much loves for sending us money um, so after that we went to Jetty Port again and naalala kami ng mga police and they were asking how we are um, and the guards also so, also, um, while I was doing the blotter and nagpapa-interview ako, nagbigay pala yung isang police ng food, kay Kyle, nagbigay siya ng Gatorade and some snacks and we're very, very thankful for that kasi we haven't eaten since 6 a.m. Um, sabi ko we kasi, haven't eaten any lunch. Yes, we didn't eat lunch kasi sabi ko kay Kyle, we're gonna eat in Boracay kasi uh, based on my timeline, ang alam ko before, lunch is a Boracay na kami, but things happen. So, <sighs> very exhausting. It's already, what time is it? Almost 5.30. And um, we haven't eaten lunch. We oh, just yeah. arrived at the hotel and I just want to rest for a bit and tell you our story. Um, it wasn't a good day. We were supposed to be happy and celebrate this guy's pre-birthday celebration. We even saw it some YouTubers. Yeah, we saw YouTubers, foreigners, dun sa Jetty Port na na-excite pa talaga siya. And I saw a channel of Sis vs. Bro. So, subscribe to that channel. So, earlier, tell them what we did um, when I was in the talking to the police. You went to YouTube and you, you, you searched for what? How to? I searched how to calm down. And then what did you learn? And then I learned that to calm down, you have to breathe in and breathe out as many times as you can. Then close your eyes and think of the good things that happen. And he was also praying. I was, I was at loss. I was panicking because I don't have anyone. It's just the two of us. It's the first time that we're traveling via plane. Na kami dalawa lang because I wanna spend this day with him alone, no lang <coughs> distraction. So. Thank you sa lahat ng tumulong sa amin. Um, Thank you for the guards. Thank you sa lahat ng nag-message. Sobrang dami nag-message at nag-comment. Thank you so much. I didn't know na ang dami pa rin mababait na tao. But still, madami rin talaga man sa mga tao dyan sa labas. So, please be careful. Um, so, magagabi na. Um, we're just gonna maybe have dinner and um, sleep so that we can start fresh tomorrow um we still want to enjoy this trip it's just a short trip it's just my rest day i just want to spend it with this guy over so we're about to eat dinner so we're gonna change eat dinner and tomorrow should be a good day but thank you lord for keeping us safe thank you everyone for your concern and your support and we're very blessed right yes thank you